Greetings people, tis I, 480 volts, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright, in this video we're gonna do uh, an op another optional thing. We're going to watch the Comsphere of the Mihen High Road. Now that sets in motion an entire side quest. So, that's what we're gonna do. Now, I just did a practice run of this not too long ago, and it doesn't take too long, so this is probably going to be kind of a short video, especially compared to last video, but there you go. Let's just go ahead and select me in High Road, and let's go. Alright, so this is the travel agency. Now, let's see if I... Okay, there you go. There's Mr. Rin. That's what we want. Hmm. Hmm. What's up, Rin? Yes. I see you. Is something wrong? Lately, a number of strange events have been occurring here on the high road. Oh, yeah? Our hover was destroyed. Also, the drone machina malfunctioned. I've lodged an investigation, but clues have been hard to come by. Forgive me for asking in such a busy time, but might I request your help in this matter? Uh, certainly. I am relieved to hear it. With your help, the mystery will be solved in no time. But what should we do? I have placed a number of modified comm spheres along the high road for use in our investigation. Should you find anything suspicious, please report it to me. Okay. So, uh... With that, I bid you good luck. It said, uh... It What's gonna happen? He's placed a whole bunch of comm spheres throughout the Meehan High Road. Um, and when I press the R2 button, I can switch through them. So we have a total of eight. And I can just switch through them. Now, I'm not going to do so just now. And you notice that, um, you don't see one? Well, that's because that's the one that we're currently on. Um, that is comm sphere number one, which I don't know... I don't know if Shinra placed that there, or not. I think, I guess Shinra did place that there. Well, this is a side quest. I will do my best to explain it. This is a side quest where there's an investigation. We're going to look for evidence in this investigation, and depending on what, we can be very selective in what pieces of evidence we locate, and what, in what order we do so, and depending on how you do it, you can um, point the evidence to uh, different people. Um, such people would include the wandering prophet, not really wandering, that dude who called himself a prophet, um, possibly Rin, he might be, a, he might be a possible suspect, um, things like, uh, like, uh, certain fiends, Kali, Riku, there's a whole bunch of people that you can basically frame if you only look at certain pieces of evidence, and depending on who ends up being framed, um, it determines what, uh, rewards you can get, and the sad part is, is we won't see any indication of what we've done until channel, uh, chapter 5, <clears throat> so I can't really confirm this until I get to chapter 5, so I'm just gonna do what I can according to the walkthroughs and hope that I get the one person that I want, um, so I can get the rewards I want, which I will explain when we get to that time in chapter 5, but I will say... Um, in order to get the, the result that I want, which is kind of considered the best result, there are a few prerequisites, and a, a lot of it happened, started in Chapter 2 when we were, um, when we were, uh, helping Callie find, uh, Chocobos. Um, there were a lot of different, um, things that we needed, um... We needed to see that scene of, for example, we needed to see that scene of Riku falling flat on her butt and landing on something that sounded like it was metal. We needed, um, Kali to board the, um, Celsius, I think? So, um, I don't know. There's just a bunch of stuff that you gotta do. Um, and I know one of the things you absolutely wanna do. These are all comm spheres that Rin has placed, but if you notice this one, number seven, it says Shinra's comm sphere. Um, it's actually a comm sphere that Shinra himself placed, um, we'll look at it later, but, um, you can miss that if you, uh, if you 
if you don't come to the Meehan High Road at the right time. It's after chapter, th it's during chapter three. It's after, you know, remember when we had to go stop all those Machina that were going nuts? Um, after that, you want to like make sure you come back to the high road for Shinra to uh, drop this comm sphere down there. I don't remember doing that, but evidently I did because the comm sphere is here. So yeah, just a lot of stuff you got to make sure that you do beforehand. But I, I think I've kind of done everything beforehand. And, um, so if you're following along with me, uh, just, I guess, do what I did. But I will say, we're gonna start, <clears throat> according to my walkthrough, to get the result I want, we need to start by looking at cam number three. Now, we can use the R2 button to switch cams, but we can also press the circle button to call Rin. The idea is when we see something that looks suspicious, we call Rin. So let me go ahead and switch to cam number three. Now, our investigation is broken into three levels, and we are currently at level one, okay? So let's just wait here at this spot. Now, when you see a Machina come running, as I do now, press the circle button to call Rin. I guess don't wait too long because you only have a window of time. I think this one you can wait as long as you want. Have you found something? What have we here? These our footprints on this drone machina. Do you like my Rin voice? I think it's okay. Okay, so we found footprints on the machina. Well, that's all we can do for here. Now let's switch to cam number four, which is the new road. Um, so we see some people talking. You definitely want to call Rin at this point. You called? Hmm, there are marks here, indicating that something fell into the ravine. Okay. It seems we are getting closer to the heart of the matter. Okay. Perhaps further investigation will yield the clues we need. Well, we, uh, we advanced a level. Now we're at level two. Now here's where things get a little confusing. Um, to get the results you want, or that I want, um, ideally... If you did things right during the Machina Mayhem mission, where we had to stop those drone Machina, you would like to then go to cam number five, get the evidence there, and then go to cam number seven. Um, we're not going to be able to do that because I didn't get that evidence. And, um, to, uh, it has to do with like how many Machina you killed or which ones you killed or something like that. And I already screwed that one up. And if I were to go to Shinra's comm sphere now, um, Rin would eventually, I would call Rin and then he'd just be like, yeah, there's no clues here. Um, so that won't work. So instead, the alternate sequence of events, and this was, should still get us the result we want. We wanna go to cam number one which is back to the travel agency. And we're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait here until we see something. Uh, what the heck? Okay, so there's a bird and a choco eater chasing after it, and I just called Rin. Call Rin when you see it. You called? How strange, that fiend never used to feed on the Spiragulls. Could it have expanded its palate? Yeah, I don't know if you need to do that. Like, I don't know if you can miss that. Like, if you wait too long, maybe the, the Choco Fiend, the Choco Eater goes off too far, and then when you call Rin out, he won't see it. But like, typically if you call Rin out for anything, he will find a piece of evidence. Or he will find something that looks suspicious and that's like considered a piece of evidence. And uh, that's uh, since, cause like he placed all of these spheres in areas that he thought were where suspicious stuff was going on, so he'll just see anything and it'll be like, oh, that's suspicious. But like this one, Shin replaced it, so it's the most impartial location. But yeah. Uh, okay, so we did that. Now we want to go to cam number four. So I think we're just gonna wait here until we see... Yeah, we'll just wait here until something happens. Ah, here we go. There's a piece of Machina, a hover, with the Choco Eater after it. Call Rin. Allow me to investigate. Is it attacking the hover? No, it is almost as though it were trying to eat it. 
Yeah, now it's trying to eat, eat Machina. I, I would say it's definitely expanded its palate. My, my. Oh my. I never realized just how much his voice sounds like George Takai. Um, or at least my impression of his voice does. All right, let's quickly switch. We don't have to quickly switch. Now we'll go to cam number five. All right, so we're just gonna wait here until we see something happen. And here we go, some Machina. Press circle to call Rin. Allow me to investigate. How awful. Oh, there's a dude there. The Machina, the Machina I guess we're carrying him. The, the Machina appear to have found a wounded man in the brush. Fortunately, his wounds are not severe. I will take him to safety after I have surveyed the area. It seems we are getting closer to the heart of the matter. Perhaps further investigation will yield the clues we need. All right, we just leveled up again. So now we're at level three. This is the final leg. Okay, I guess we can just go ahead and switch. Now we want to do, regardless of how your investigation turns up, now we want to go to cam one. Um, and we'll, I think we just turn the camera all the way to the left, and there's Rin talking to the dude. Or, tending to the dude, I should say. So we'll just, just wait here on him. I don't, maybe I need to zoom in on him. Hey, Rin. He's gonna say, oh, no, 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 I, I call him. Duh. Allow me to investigate. Yeah, obviously I need to call Rin. The man we found injured on the old road earlier spoke deliriously as I brought him here to safety. This new information has proven most enlightening. If you say so, Rin, I don't have a clue what any of this means. But okay, that's all we need there. And now our final thing we want to do is go to Cam 2. And we want to go, we want to look up at this roof and we see this guy hammering. So let's just go ahead and call Rin, and let's just watch him. And he falls off, and nearly breaks his neck. Lands on that Machina. Allow me to investigate. Maybe you should check to see if the dude's okay. He looks okay. I am glad to see he is not hurt. Thankfully, the drone Machina also seems to be all right. If a shock alone caused it to malfunction, we would be in trouble. I guess so. Machina, shock. Oh, 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 oh. I believe it is all starting to fall into place. I will handle the rest of the investigation and think more on this evidence. I am grateful for your help, Lady Yuna. If you call that help, yeah, we're done at this point. We have, um, we have done everything that we should need to. So I'm just going to leave the area and that's that. But yeah, and, and, uh, we're basically done. Short video, but according to my walkthrough, that is what I need to do to get the result that I want, which, again, I will not know what that result is, or I will not know for certain. Like, I will not be able to 100% confirm that until I get to Chapter 5. Do you say anything new? No, no, she's just talking about that. So, yeah, we're, um, hopefully we did that right. It's not the end of the world if I didn't do it right. It's just, I'm just trying to get the right, the best possible rewards, but hey, whatever. If, if I didn't get it right, I didn't get it right. But hopefully we did. Um, I think there are some options that you can get that will actually mess with your 100% completion. So this is a practice run. If I get what I wanted at Chapter 5, I'll remember this for when I do my 100% run of the game in New Game Plus. Because I, I want to make sure I get it there too. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and save. Uh, in the next video, we will actually progress with the main plot. We are going to go to the moon flow and see if we can't find Mr. Tobley. Um, and I just did a practice run. Channel 4 is very... Sorry, Chapter 4. I keep saying channel. Chapter 4 is extremely streamlined, and we're going to zip through it pretty quickly. And let me just go ahead and show you something. Uh, if I go to party mem... Or if I go to equipment... See how Brother is now in the lineup? Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. That is because of the Creature Creator. That's something that was introduced in International Version and the HD Remake. 
Um, I accidentally opened up the creature creator, you remember, in the previous video, and it said Brother has now joined. So yeah, we can technically bring Brother in as a new party member, which I am not going to do in this LP, but that's something you can do. Just so you know, he doesn't act like a typical character. He acts... He has a... Uh, he basically acts like a fiend that is on your side. In other words, you can't control him. You basically... He basically does his own thing. And just so you know, for the... That you're gonna see, because I accidentally clicked it, you're gonna see him now in the lineup every time I go into equipment. But just for the record, I'm never gonna use him. I'm, I'm going to stick to the three girls, and I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it the way the original PS2 users... <coughs> the only way they could play it. But anyway, in the next video, we will do more stuff. We'll actually progress with the main story. So thank you all so much for watching. My name's 480 Volts. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Peace.